So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here. Today's video, we're taking a look at a digital picture frame and this one is from Dragon Touch. Now, a little story about this picture frame guys, I was supposed to have the review done in time for Mother's Day. Long story short, wrong address sent to my neighbors and never saw that package again. So Dragon Touch actually sent a second one out to me. So big shout out to them for sponsoring this video. This video, we're gonna do a quick unboxing. We're gonna uh, take a look at some of the specs, some of the features, test it out and see if this is worth it. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so of course, if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button in the top right, hit the notification bell. Remember to drop your questions and comments in the comment section below. So uh, before we do anything, let me go ahead and get this out of the package to reflect it for my taste. That's a little bit better. So nice, um, package delivery it almost has a bow right here like I said this would be a perfect Mother's Day gift so maybe if you guys are a little bit late for the Mother's Day present this is still an option for you as far as some of the specs and features uh, easy to share so it does have an app that connects you can send uh, photos directly to the device videos as well 10.1 inch IPS display and the resolution on this is 1280 by 800 it does come with built-in 16 gigs of memory it does have a touch screen display of course and the apps are both available on Android as well as iOS. So in the box we have the actual stand for the picture frame. I'll show you how to install that in a little bit. We also have a mini USB and this will be for transferring data back and forth or connecting uh, this to your PC. As far as the frame itself, it does have a classic look, guys. Like, there's no way of mistaking this uh, for a fake picture frame. It looks almost like a fake wood. Um, pretty good. It is all plastic on the front, on the back as well. On the back, we have our power button. If you want to hang it on the wall, you can go ahead and use this to hang it. You also have some speaker holes right here in the back, so it does have a built-in speaker. So on the side, we have our DC plug. We have our mini USB for connecting to the PC. We also have a regular USB port, and this will be where you can plug in your thumb drive with pictures, and you can go ahead and play your pictures and videos that way. You also have a headphone jack and an SD card slot. And here's where you actually screw in the stand. So I'll just take this. Kind of goes in there and that bad boy sits just like that here's the getting started guys so power on your picture frame with the power cable connect your photo frame to the wi-fi find the frame id settings information and email address for your frame download our app in the app store or google play store sign in and log into your account bind your frame also invite friends and families accept user requests and user management for frame start upload moments via the email so So we're gonna go ahead and get it plugged up and get it all set up. So a quick run through of the device. We do have our folders right here. When you click on it, it asks you where you wanna actually uh, get your media from. So you can select all sources like we have selected, or if you only wanted to play photos from your USB, SD card, internal storage, you can go ahead and do so. Further down, you have your alarm clock. You can go ahead and set that up. You can add multiple alarms as well. Under your settings, you have the device information, user management. So just like it says, you can manage the users, so you can accept requests, um, you can do different things. And like I said, this is all shareable. You have your PC control, so you can go ahead and start the FTP server. It gives you the IP address, enter the following IP address on your client. So if you head over to the PC, put in this information, you should be able to drag and drop directly into the picture frame. I'm using FileZilla right now, I'm gonna put in the IP address. It was given, it was 192.168.5.164. And the port number is gonna be 2221. I'm gonna hit quick connect. Everything on this side is gonna be your computer. Everything on this side is gonna be your actual picture frame. So transferring files, pictures, videos to the frame is pretty simple, guys. Just drag and drop. So I already have new intro, sub, and notify. But if I wanted to transfer this one as well, all I have to do is drag you can see it's transferring here at the bottom and there it goes 
so the album setting you're going to go in here and make sure everything is how you want it so photos will display it at full screen so you can go ahead and turn that off slideshow is one minute slideshow mode sequential so if you click on that you can do random as well so if you want them to go in order if you want it to be random the interval is set to five seconds so obviously you can go in and you can change that to a, a custom time transition effect is random so you can select the depth the zoom center zoom stack delete photos and you can restore the default over to your system settings all right so you have your sound let's go ahead and we'll turn that all the way up we're going to test the video in a little bit display is set to there's the hundred percent right there and that's where you guys can see the difference we'll just kick it down a little bit navigation so suspended ball not sure what that is maybe it's that guy right there let's turn it off and see what happens yep so you can't go ahead and turn that on and off time and date your language auto on off and the factory reset as well so what we need to do is go ahead and add this picture frame with the phone so right here on the devices click on it and we're going to go ahead and hit the plus all right so we're going to give the frame a name and we need to put in our frame id so if you go to your settings there frame id is right there so let me go ahead and put mine in all right so everything is the same that way uh, that way i'll never lose the name or whatever the case is so hit bind bind success you can see right there triple m request to bind so let me click on that and we're going to accept it all right so it looked like it has both names right there so all right so it has my account information as well as the the actual account um, looks like I have to go in and confirm this as well all right so we should be good to go so let me um let me see if I can take a photo and we'll just use this photo and we'll just use that we'll hit done and we'll send it to the device click on it and go all right so you see guys it is sending to the hundred percent let me go ahead and we're going to send it a couple more things and we're going to go ahead and just check it out we also wanted to test it with a video just to see how loud that speaker is so back to the home screen it gives you a little preview of everything that you have on the device so it gives you some pictures right here and it will continuously go through the slideshow on there so to start the slideshow you can just click right there click on the first image and we'll go ahead and start going through the process unfortunately the pictures and the videos are going to be in a different area so to get to your videos you have to click right here and here are the videos that I've added, guys. So you can see I have my intro. And that's max on the audio, guys. So you can see you can pause. You can do everything you'll normally do. do have a USB stick let's go ahead and put that in all right so USB flash inserted so let me go over to my pictures I wanted to show you guys what's on the USB stick while we talk about some of the other features so click USB and here are all the pictures to start that slideshow as well click on it and it will automatically start the process once again now very important that some pictures are going to be in different resolution so some might have the widescreen some might have typical 4.3 but depending how you rotate it is how it's going to display that picture and i like how they did it they didn't just leave a black void on the sides if your picture is a certain quality what it does is just blurs it out you can tell it's the image but it's just pixelated in the back for a very cool effect so i thought that was pretty cool as far as the viewing angle let me just turn it very slowly So viewing angle is pretty good. Let me turn to the other side. Now that light might not be helpful. And like I said, love the fact that that if you wanted to leave it like that, you can go ahead and do so. 
it is going to blend in with the background and it still looks pretty good. So that's it for this video. Definitely want to hear your thoughts. What do you think of this device? What do you think of the price point? Do you think it's worth it? Is it something that you would have picked up for Mother's Day if I would have reviewed it in time? Drop your comments in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.